<laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Welcome channel. Back. Hey guys. Hey, hey guys. guys. Welcome, Welcome back. back to the channel. Hello hey guys. guys. Oh. Hey, hey guys. guys. Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the, the channel. channel. A couple of weeks ago, I posted a uh, how do you say it? a poll on Instagram saying what you guys wanted to see for our next video, and you guys said a how we became parents at twenty and twenty one. Was it? No. 20 and 22. Yeah, because I'm 22, not 21. Too. Yeah. Basically, I got pregnant while I was 19 and he was 21. <laughs> and that's the end of the video. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys. I already told them, like, the whole story of telling my parents and. <laughs> of how I moved out with you and then I told my parents. All, all that part is good. So basically, they just want to know is, like, how we feel about being parents so young and you know stuff like that if we have any advice for other young parents i'm tired <laughs> very tired every day of my life no i'm joking not really but I'm not really but kind of advice sheesh for people who already have kids or what or they're no, having kids they're about to have kids at our age they're pregnant or yes not yet well we can tell them like advice like during pregnancy mm -hmm. and like what they can do that we should have done what should we have done i feel like <laughs> we could have been more patient with each other oh yeah definitely um because you know like when women get pregnant they their mood is all over the place. Yeah, so oh, yeah. I feel like he could have been a little more patient with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it's really hard because pregnancy is not easy. Oh, no, it is not. And he's and, not the one with the baby. And on top of that, we were barely knew each other, and then we lived together, and then we had to get to know each other the hard way. Mm -hmm. And that made things a lot harder, so... Yep. Definitely, definitely, like, if you guys don't know each other that well, <laughs> like we did, and you move in together, it's going to be hard, but... Especially since I was pregnant. It wasn't like, a, let's just move in just to see, you know? It was yeah. like, oh, we kind of have to move in together now. Oh, yeah, because, yeah, it, we did not know each other, but we got to know each other really fast, and definitely had its ups and downs. <laughs> 23 um I love it <laughs> that sounds so sarcastic but no seriously I like it a lot I love it I'm not here as much as I would like to be because I work a lot but when I am here I really like it a lot I love it I love seeing my son he looks just like me so <laughs> it's pretty cool seeing like a mini version of myself definitely did not see being a father this early in my life but it happens, and... We both didn't. Oh, no, definitely Unless not. I was trying to trap you for life, and you never knew. I've thought about that. <laughs> it will definitely make you grow up really fast. I did not want to, but I have no choice. I still don't want to grow up. But I have to. For him, and for our family. Our relationship before was very, very different to how very it was different. now. Um, we were just basically kids, traveling and doing things, and um, it turned to me staying at home most of the time while he goes to work. Say hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Why you look so mad? Hello. Because you just woke up. Me being pregnant at 19 was very, very challenging. Um, like I said, we didn't really have patience with each other, so mostly all the time I felt alone, which was very hard on me. But slowly he started recognizing that I wasn't just being annoying. Or crazy. 
or just being crazy. Being a mom at 20, um, I grew up a lot. Do you think I grew up a lot? Mm -hmm. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. Oh. Um, I had to grow up a lot, and I see life very, very different because now we are living for someone. Hello. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. Hey. <laughs> As you can see how our life is, we get very distracted very easily now because of him. And he's just so cute. Hi, lovey. Hello. Mmm, your hand smells so good. Sleep now. Oh, yeah. Make sure you sleep. Unless you just get lucky and your child sleeps Sleeps all the way through oh, the yeah. night. Um, at the beginning, he was a very good baby. I cannot lie, because he was... He would sleep pretty well for a newborn. Um, lately... He had his little phase of like not sleeping at all for some reason and crying. Um, but now he's like getting back to it, right? And his routine, he's getting into a routine of like going to sleep at 8.30, 9 latest. And he has to be in bed. Like he can't be in a car seat or like, you know, on a sofa or something. He oh. has to be in bed by that by that time and then he'll sleep mostly the night he'll wake up maybe one time maybe right like around three mm -hmm. other than that he's he's pretty good he cries when he's hungry i really like well sometimes he cries for nothing i guess right oh yeah diaper changes are always fun he barely changes diapers i don't know why he always says that <laughs> oh, but, it's, but it's funny because I know when he poops, so I'm like, hey, it's your turn to change the diaper, so he'll, usually when he changes his diaper, I'll just give him the poopy ones. Oh yeah, and they're so much fun to change. <laughs> Yesterday was the first time he pooped, like, everywhere, remember? Yeah. Even on his leg. I don't know how that happens. Well, he got, yeah, I don't know. Because he was just sitting there, and it ruined his pants, his shirt, everything. I just threw those things away because there was no point. But our life has definitely changed. Do you agree with me? Oh, like literally, in my life it is nothing completely is the same. different. Yeah. Like I was saying, our relationship changed a lot. Um, we have lost a little bit of how do you say enthusiasm for what one another? Like yeah, like I feel like it's just because we. We're in, like in a routine, but I was talking to him today that I wanted to change that. Like maybe have like a small trip every month and just save up for that. No. Small trips every month, save up for those. And just a very, very important thing I want to point out is always keep your soulmate. Like, always give them attention. Because as a mom, you will easily just go straight to your son or daughter. To your baby. And you will start forgetting about, you know, your other half. And just always just pay attention to them as well. Because they deserve it. Anyway, guys. But anyway, guys. But anyway, guys. But anyway, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Um, this was... I felt like a short video for some reason, but it's almost 13 minutes, minutes yeah. long. Oh yeah, I forgot about the other clip. Yeah, I don't yeah. know why it felt so short. Um, I feel like we didn't really talk about much, so if you guys have any other questions, comment or DM me on Instagram. Um, we were just really, we just really wanted to like explain how we felt, you know? And like I said, this baby changed our life. Anyway, guys. I think it's time to, yeah, to end go. End this video. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. And the bell. Comment.
They have to turn on the bell because YouTube is like playing with YouTubers and not showing our videos. Well, turn on the bell notification thing, whatever it's called. <laughs> Give us a like, comment down below, and uh, we'll see you next time.